Uh, the last book I read was uh, Black Reconstruction by W.E.B. Du Bois. Um, okay. It's about the uh, end of the Civil War in the United States and um, the Reconstruction efforts and the role that black people had in uh, re reconstructing the South after that. Um, yeah. Which is, if you're going to read one book of American history, it's the one I would say you really? should read. Yeah, it's nice. pretty remarkable. And it's written by a historian or something? W.E.B. Du Bois uh, is a historian, sociologist, philosopher, Marxist, yeah. like one of uh, the black men in America, one of the greatest writer. Yeah, just a remarkable writer. Uh, nice. Yeah. Reading right now. To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. Oh. It's a science fiction, like, epic, sorta. She finds an artifact that basically symbiotically attaches to her mm -hmm. type of thing and she's fighting like alien jellyfish and figuring out about this symbiotic like yeah. creature do you like it so far it's a great like and almost pretty much realistic take on what's going on like yeah. uh, i think on what alien life would look like you know mm -hmm. like if we found it the last book i read was called rebel without a crew by Robert Rodriguez. Uh -huh. He's an independent filmmaker. And that book um, details his uh, kind of creative process in making his first feature length film. Mm -hmm. And he made it for $10,000. And okay. at that time, you know, like making a movie for that low of budget is like unheard of. And like this guy by himself with like a camera and a group of his friends made this like Hollywood movie in their like hometown oh, for like a $10,000 budget. And he talks about his. Uh, you know, there's a process from the beginning to the end where he promoted it at the Sundance Film Festival and he won like all the audience award and that's how he kind of launched his career essentially. And yeah, it was just, it's just a very inspirational book for like aspiring filmmakers, like I'm an aspiring filmmaker and actor myself. Mm -hmm. And like when I read it, it really kind of opened my eyes into like what's possible outside of, you know, like the Hollywood system and stuff. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's a book I'd recommend any, like, aspiring filmmaker, but not just that, like, anyone who's, like, creative. It's just very um, motivating and stuff. I would say that my favorite, like, set of books or a saga mm -hmm. is the Foundation Saga for Massimo. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, one of the best, if not the best, sci-fi sci saga I've written. Well, it's about a futuristic society where like, humans have uh, colonized the whole galaxy. And then there's this guy who, using uh, well, mathematical models and like social psychology, mm -hmm. that's kind of science, uh, he foresees the just the collapse of the of the like the galactic this galactic empire. Mm -hmm. And then he starts like a couple of foundations to kind of preserve all the human knowledge because mm -hmm. he sees that uh, following this collapse, people will go back to the dark ages. So he kind of create these two foundations to keep all human knowledge and all that uh, and to help civilization be rebuilt again right. and then there are many things happening I don't want to say much but yeah. it's a very interesting story like super <laughs> compelling and, and it's a set of three books it's a trilogy and like every book is better than the previous one really, it's really yeah. oh nice mm. okay what's up guys I just want to give you some context to this week's video all the people you've just heard talking were my roommates when I stayed in Chicago I stayed at a place called Chicago Sublet Inn which is like a long-term hostel for people from abroad for people who do internships in Chicago for students or for people who are just traveling like me and stay there for a couple of months and yeah it's a super fun place to stay at you get to meet a lot of new people especially if you travel alone it's a great place to start to find people to hang out with or to do something with to explore the city with. So if you're ever in Chicago, definitely check out Chicago Subnet and I had a super fun time there. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next week.